Salon, I create hairstyles for some of America's smartest women, and I have found a remarkable shampoo that actually helps your permanent hold its curl. It is today's dream shampoo with a hairspring formula. Let me show you with this permanent. Look at this side before shampooing. It is limp, lifeless. But when we wash with today's dream, see how springy and elastic the curls become, how lively. Help your permanent hold its curl. Get today's Dream Shampoo with its hairspring formula. Would you join us for a drink? Oh, no, thank you. I want to see my agent for a minute. Thanks anyway. So? So remember the part that goes... Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah? So that's not how it goes. <laughs> so how does it go? So like this. <laughs> I'll go in my dressing room and commit Harry Carey. <laughs> oh, wait. Why? I'm not finished. So what else? Well... You looked wonderful, you sounded great, and I can sit here and listen to you all night. <laughs> Harry, have I told you that I love you? You'll have to get over it. I'm already spoken for. Oh, fudge. <laughs> anyway, everybody knows nobody loves an agent, eh? Well, I gotta go now. I gotta run. Uh-oh, speaking of agents, here comes the biggest vulture of them all. Baby! Sweetheart! <laughs> Ah, you look wonderful. You're looking great yourself. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Sweetheart. Baby. Yo, yo uh, Jan, this is Jack Adams. The Jack Adams? The Jack Adams Agency? How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, um, the, uh, Jack, this is Jan Stewart, a client of mine. A very good client. She's loyal. This girl is loyal. I tell you, Jack, if another agent came along and tried to steal her from me, he'd... He'd just be wasting his time, because his girl is loyal. L-O-Y-L-E, loyal. <laughs> just to show you how loyal she is, I'm going to walk away now and 
leave you here. <laughs> That's how loyal she is. She's so loyal, sometimes I call her Loyal John. <laughs> Harry, do you think I'd try to steal a client from you? You, my oldest friend. Baby. Sweetheart. Bye, Loyal Jan. <laughs> He's a wonderful guy. He's a regular doll. Oh. Why don't you leave him? What? Come with my office. I caught your act last Friday. I got news for you. You're great. Sensational. Better than that, you're good. My office could do big things for you. But... Ah, I know. Harry. He's a wonderful guy. A doll. I love him like a brother. Get rid of him. <laughs> but baby, he's small time. So he can only do small time things for you. But me, I'm the biggest. Jack Adams Agency, offices in Hollywood, Chicago, Paris, London. With me behind you, there's no limit to how far you can go. With Harry, how long have you been in this uh, rat trap? Two and a half years. <laughs> With Harry, you'll be here when you're 70. They'll have to wheel you on stage. <laughs> what an entrance. Jan Stewart, the Grandma Moses of the nightclubs. <laughs> have we got a deal? I couldn't. Harry's more than my agent. He's my friend. Look, baby, you're in a tough racket. There's no room for sentiment. The client-agent relationship is purely a matter of business. Sorry. I'm loyal Jan. Sure you are. Only, uh, why don't you think it over and give me a call tomorrow? Hmm? here when you're 70. They'll have to wheel you on stage. <laughs> for the Copa. The Copa? what they say? You need a little more experience. <laughs> Jack, you mean that old bag has been singing here over 40 years now? It's a sad story. She was great. Great. She could have gone someplace. Hit the top. The way you did when you left your little agent to go with me. Well, why didn't she? Cause she's loyal. Loyal? Yeah. <laughs> Loyal. What a silly thing to be. Loyal. <laughs> Who'd she think she was? Nathan Hale? For little Harry Cooper, she laid down her whole life like he was America at war. Loyal she had to be. <laughs> Loyal. Loyal. So 
I'll be the Grandma Moses of the nightclubs. So they'll have to wheel me on stage. At least when I get there, I'll be able to look people in the eye, right? Coffee's getting cold. So you gotta step on a few people to get someplace in this business, huh? Well, maybe Mr. Jack Adams thinks so, but not me. No siree, not me. Because I'm going to tell you something, Pat. No matter how big you get in this business, if you haven't got friends, what have you got? I ask you, what have you got? Iced coffee. <laughs> Pat, I, I just can't walk out on Harry after all these years. Not after his, his friendship, his faith in me, his love. Can I? Of course you can't. Why can't I? <laughs> the agent-client relationship is strictly business. If Perry can't do for me what another agent can, why should I blindly stick with him? I is that logical? No, I guess it's not. So I leave Harry, right? Right. Harry is sweet, but business is business. Right. Only a fool would stick. Right. So I leave. Phew. I'm glad that's settled. Well, you finally made up your mind, huh? Yep. I'll never leave Harry. <laughs> I love him. He's a doll. He's a rare, sweet, lovable human being. That's why I'll never leave him. He's so sweet and lovable, I'm starting to hate him. <laughs> if Harry wasn't so sweet, I could leave him. Why couldn't he be a little mean? Why does he have to be so nice? What kind of an attitude is that for an agent anyway? <laughs> I don't think that's being so nice. Neither do I. I mean, if he were really nice, he'd have a little meanness in him so his friends could hate him if necessary. I sound pretty silly, don't I? You sure do. Hi, 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 Annie? Hi. <laughs> it's always such a terrible thing, is it? Because no. that's what I am, loyal jazz. I only brought the rolls. Stanley, you're in business. Tell me, is it wrong or is it right for me to mix sentiment with my relationship with my agent. What I mean to say is this. If somebody else can do more for me than Harry, why shouldn't I leave him? Jan, all I can say is that if the man who sold us our dill pickles was my uncle and those pickles were lousy, oh! Why are your pickles so lousy? Because the man who sells them is my uncle. <laughs> but we're a very sentimental family. Who says it's right? Oh, Stanley, you're no help. No, wait. It is right, it is. Business is business. But to some people, to some people, sentiment and, and, and loyalty are more important. And that's why, that's why your father buys lousy dill pickles from your uncle and why I have to stick with Harry. Stanley, you're a big help. Thanks. You have completely opened my eyes to the only honorable, decent decision that I can make. I have? Yeah, why don't you keep your big mouth shut? <laughs> well, that's what you wanted to hear. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, look, I, I know I'm behaving kind of childish, but... No. Doggone it, I made a decision and I'm gonna stick to it. Good! Which way did she decide? <laughs> and I'm gonna stick with Harry. Hello? Oh, Mr. Adams, I was just about to call and tell... What? What? Oh, really? Really? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Oh! What is it? Jack Adams. He can get me into the sky room of the Sherry Waldorf. Oh, how wonderful. Do you know what that room means? Six years with Harry, and I'm still in Tony's cellar. And overnight with Jack Adams, I'm in the sky... <laughs> Pat, what'll I do? Will you tell me what's right? <laughs> All right, so I stick with Harry. So I'm the Grandma Moses of the nightclub. So I can look people in the eye. So what? I won't even be able to see him. Not without my bifocals. Jan, yeah, I gotta go to work. There's no one in the store. Mom, I'll be late for school. Sit down. <laughs> I have one of the most important decisions in my life to make, and you desert me like rats deserting a sinking ship. I need your help. I need advice. You don't listen when I give it to you. All right, I'll listen. Look, the way I look at it is this. The Skyroom is New York's biggest nightclub. 
I can't afford to lose a break like this. I gotta forget Harry. Okay, forget Harry. Sure, forget Harry. Sure, forget Harry. Sit down. <laughs> you know I can't forget Harry. You know it. Harry's a sweet, wonderful, lovable little guy, and I can't leave him. Wouldn't be loyal. All right, don't leave Harry. Sure, don't leave Harry. Okay, don't leave Harry. Sit down. <laughs> How can you all sit there being so loyal to Harry? Because you're loyal to me, that's what I'd like to know. Sit down. <laughs> I think of myself, don't I? I, I gotta think of Josie. Think of all the, the wonderful things I could buy, all the, all the money I could make. You know how much they pay in the Sky Room? The Sky Room. New York's swankiest nightclub. See? Girl isn't a singer there. She's a... Chantouze. Can't you just see me there? Walking on air Since the moment that you told me that you care Oh, I feel like a feather in the breeze Flying through space In your embrace Dancing on clouds way up above Since the second that you beckoned to my love I'm happy, so happy when you're near, my troubles just disappear, as soon as you're by my side, I'm satisfied, and I feel like a feather in the breeze, having my fun, kissing the sun, and it's because you are the one. So I'm singing like the birdies in the trees, and I feel like a feather. Miss Stewart, Miss Stewart, I'm from the New York Herald Times. How sweet. <laughs> Miss Stewart, you are the biggest overnight success that Broadway has ever known. Yes, I am. <laughs> so tell me, for all our millions of readers, what do you feel is the biggest factor in your phenomenal success? I owe it all to my agent, Harry Cooper. How loyal of you. In what way was he responsible for your success? <laughs> I fired him. <laughs> then, then your advice to the thousands of aspiring young performers trying to succeed is? Disloyalty. <laughs> Thank you. You have heart. <laughs> it. Josie! Yes, Mom. Don't you think I'm right, baby? Don't you think that I have to go with Jack Adams? Sure, Mom, sure. Only now can I go to school? Do you really think so, baby? Do you really think so? Sure, sure. Can I go now? All right, you talk me into it. Oh, Josie, it's gonna be so wonderful. I'll be a star, and we'll have lots of money, and... Mom, I'm late for school. And I don't want to be here when you have to tell Uncle Harry. Oh, Josie, it's going to be so wonderful. Josie, you're late for school. <laughs> huh? You better hurry. Yeah. Come on, and thank you for yeah. helping me out, yeah. honey. Oh, it's going to be so wonderful. You just wait and see. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh. Feel like a feather in the breeze. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell him, but how? How? Oh, what's the matter with me? He's not a baby. He can take it. I'll just tell him. Right off. Harry, I'll say, I'm leaving you to go with Jack Adams. Harry, I'm leaving you.
leaving you to go with Jack Adams. Ridiculous. What is he, a baby? He'd never do anything like that. As a matter of fact, he'd probably tell me I was doing the right thing. Sure. Because that's the kind of a guy he is. Harry, I'm leaving you to go with Jack Adams. Jan, that's a wonderful idea. Wonderful, wonderful. Don't you worry about losing me as a client? Well, sure, but I'm more than your agent. I'm also your friend. And as your friend, I'm happy, 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 happy. No, 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 but he's got offices in Hollywood, London, and Paris. You'll be famous, you'll be a star, you'll be rich. So what if I starve to death? This is the happiest moment of my life. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> way he'll feel about it, because that's the kind of a guy he is. He'll be glad for me. He like feather in the breeze, riding on high, high in the sky. Hello, may I speak with Mr. Adams, please? Uh, Jan Stewart, yes, I'll wait. Boy, that Harry, what a guy. What a sweet, understanding, unselfish guy. A real friend. A friend you can count on. Not like some people I can think of. Always thinking about them... selves. Selfish. Inconsiderate. Doing only what's good for them. Never thinking of anybody else. I would like to tell you that I won't leave Harry if I have to stay in Tony's cellar till I'm 170. Goodbye. What did I say? <laughs> um, I probably would have gotten nosebleeds in the sky room anyway. <laughs> Jan, you're so loyal, it turns my stomach. And funny. Sweetheart, I ran all the way in love, I guess. Never in a million years. Harry, what is it? So you won't believe it. So what? I... So why should I tell you if you won't believe it? So I'll believe it. So I'll believe it. <laughs> so how could you believe it if I don't believe it myself? Oh, Harry. Listen. So listen. I hear about this job, see? Girl singer. So I figure, why should I go? Why should a fancy club buy a client for me? So I'm not gonna go, see? Then I get to thinking how Jan's counting on me, you know? She's not only a client, she's a friend. So I say to myself, so what's the worst they can do? So they'll throw me out. So I go. So you know what? So this coming Monday, you open in the sky room at the Sherry Waldorf. What? Harry, but how? How? I'll tell you how, Jan. I got to thinking. I got to thinking how, how loyal you were, how you, how you stuck with me, even though I'm a small timer. I, I got to feeling so proud. I went in there like I was 10 feet tall. I did a selling job like you never heard. I... You know what, Jan? I beat out Jack Adams. You did? Yeah. He was there trying to sell a guy one of his clients. Can you picture her face when she finds out she lost the job to a girl with a small-time agent like me? <laughs> <laughs> I sure can. Harry? Yeah? Harry... So what? Harry. So let's dance. Huh? Huh? I'm happy, happy, happy. Well, that's the story, Harry. If I had to tell you or I would have felt like a real phony. Jan, Bunny. Harry, I'm so ashamed of myself. Jan. How can I, I even think about leaving you? You, my friend, my loyal friend. You, who have always been more than an agent to me. Why, well, you never lost confidence in me. You always had faith in me. Harry, can you ever forgive me? Forgive you? Jan, Bunny, I've been fighting the same battle myself. Huh? 
I got an offer to go with a real big agency, even bigger than Jack Adams. Harry! Yeah, all week long I've been wrestling with myself. Should I dump you for a nice, safe salary, or do I, do I stay loyal and keep on plugging away? Jan, I almost accepted, but I didn't know how to break the news to you. And I didn't know how to break the news to you. What the daydreams I had. Every time I try to tell you, you fainted. So did you. But I couldn't leave you. And I couldn't leave you. So we'll stick. And with your faith in me and my faith in you, how can we miss? Yeah, how can we miss? Jan, you really think we'll get any place? Harry, I was just going to ask you the same question. <laughs> Good night, folks. Presented by Crest Toothpaste with Floristan, exclusive fluoride compound that brings you triumph over tooth decay, and the great new detergent for automatic washers, Dash, with low suds that really clean.